Hey guys, it's Trevor. Welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're not, welcome back. It's been a few months. It's been more than a few months since my last video. Unfortunately, fall, winter months, I was feeling a little bit uninspired. And not only that, but you know, there's not a ton of content that I can put out in the in the winter months where all the deals are going on. More of it's just behind the scenes, uh, kind of private stuff, you know, making deals that I can't unfortunately share with you guys. But we're starting to get to the point where I am able to share a lot more content with you guys. It was I saw a comment over a little over a month ago uh, from Brian Griggs and it made me realize like hey you know we had something good going with uh with with this channel and I think that I need to really kind of commit to it and uh, and give it my all and try and put out as much good content for you guys as possible but uh if you haven't been following uh, my social channels and you can follow all my social channels right here it's been a crazy and amazing off season uh we were able to the team came made a deal with Yamaha Motor USA. I'm gonna be racing the brand new Yamaha YZF R7 in the Moto America Twins Cup Championship, which is gonna be fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. And the season kicks off at Daytona. We were fortunate enough to do a test back in January, and I also got to do a tour of Yamaha headquarters for the Southeast, which was fantastic. And it's just gonna be a great season all together. And this past week, and especially today, has been absolutely crazy as far as the shipments that we've been getting in the mail, uh, FedEx, DHL, UPS, you name it, we've been we've been getting packages, getting ready for the race season, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of share with you guys some of the cool deliveries that we've gotten. Somewhat of an unboxing, somewhat just showcasing some of the great partners uh, that we will have on board for this upcoming season. So, started off, this was, a, this was the big package of the day. And it's not even the only package that we're going to be getting, but we got a fantastic shipment from Motul. Uh, we will be running with Motul again this year. Uh, shout out to Motul for their great support last year, and it's going to be an even better year this year. So I haven't really gotten into this tearing this crate open yet and looking what all the goodies we have inside. But if I had to guess, this isn't as much of the oils that we will be getting as much as it is the Motul Care line of products, which I think is highly underrated everybody should be using motul oil on your bike and also just motul care products for all the other motorcycle needs that you may encounter and so yeah i think the the other shipment might be coming later this week you might see it in the video but i wanted to showcase me opening it up see what goodies we got first off we have the motul e7 insect remover i remember using this stuff last year it was fantastic it definitely use it for insect removal but i kind of used it for more than just insect removal racing Brake fluid. All right, so we got our brake fluid from Motul. Running that again this year, which would be great. A lot of these products are gonna be the same things that we ran last year. There's more brake fluid, there's more brake fluid. But I saw a couple things. Ooh, I'm gonna open this up. So this right here is perfect leather. Cleans, restores, and protects your leathers. I am looking forward to trying that out. Right here is another personal favorite of mine. Um, I'm not someone that likes cleaning. But I remember using this last year, this Shine and Go from Motul Care line of products worked great. So this is another product that is new to us for this year. You might not be able to see it, but it is an electronic cleaner. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. I mean, obviously everybody knows Motul for their oil and rightfully so. It's the best money that oil can buy. Best money that oil can buy best oil that money can buy. If you're not using Motul Care products, like the chain lube and the chain clean and everything else, are you really are you really doing what your bike needs? Treat your bike how you want your bike to treat you. All right, so that is, that is it for the Motul for today. Let's get to the next package that we got in the mail today. It's like Christmas. In February. So this right here is our shipment of Dymag wheels. Not all of the wheels, but some of them that came a little bit earlier than the other ones. Let's get these opened up and uh, see just how bright and shiny they are. Man, I would love to just take a moment and appreciate how beautiful these wheels are. Unfortunately, the lights in here don't truly reflect how, how bright these things are in person, but I wanna to show to you guys how light these wheels truly are. Kinda of hard to, to comprehend, and I figured, you know what, for the sake of being American and our somewhat interesting units of measurement, got an interesting one for you. So let's see how light these things are. 
So right here we have a very curious uh, Peabody. He is our uh, our big boy. He's our chonker in the household. He's not out here in the shop very often, if ever. So he's a little curious right now. But let's see combined rider and cat weight. What are we rocking with? You've been eating a lot lately, Peabody. All right. That clocks us in. 159. Dang, dude. You need to go on a diet. You need to go on a diet. 159. Between the two of us. All right, so got a little bit of cat hair on me now, but got Dimag wheels. These are two rears, by the way. The front would be lighter, uh, but as far as the shipment we got today, it was uh, two of the rears. So now combined rider and wheel weight, we have a combined 160 pounds. So <laughs> basically two Dimag wheels are as, uh, as basically one pound heavier than one cat. So that, uh, that weight save that you're going to be making by using Dimag wheels is pretty incredible. It's, it's equivalent to having one cat on your bike rather than uh, two stock heavy wheels. So that's what he thinks. So it's the next day. I just got home from school a few hours ago. I had some homework and stuff I had to work on. I had some lovely exams that I had the pleasure of doing today. So as soon as I got home, I got into my nice comfy lounge clothes. This Pure Attitude hoodie is one of the comfiest ones that I own. It's not currently on the shop, but you know, maybe drop a comment if you want to see see this hoodie make a comeback. Uh, but I wanted to share with you guys a couple more of the things that we got. So this right here is my shipment that I got from Bison Leather. And they sent me a couple pairs of gloves, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. So basically they have two models. They have the Thor one, which is right here. And then we have the new model, if I can get it right. This is the Thor 2. So I'm going to be putting them both on, checking them out, letting you guys know what I think. And actually, before we get started, looks like we have some other goodies in here. We got some bison socks. And to go along with my fancy new socks, I also have a bison beanie and a bison hat. I'm going to throw that on. All right. So first up, we have the Thor 1s. I like this web finger design right here. I really love the the design of each of the little tracks on the on the glove. That's a really cool added touch. Let me get them both on both hands. Feel great, feel safe in them. I'm not gonna crash test them right now. Um, I'm super thankful to the lackeys for sending these out to me. Feel just like the slightest hint oh, in my right wrist because I've broken my wrist before. Um, with this kind of getting bunched up right here. So let's try out the Thor 2s and see how those are. So I can tell right away, there's an extra fold right here. So you got a little bit of extra protection and keep it tight on there. So these are the Thor 2s and I can tell right away. For me personally, the extra added Mobility in the wrist I think is going to be huge. So there they are. They look amazing feel amazing Let's see a side-by-side -side comparison. All right So on my right and your left we have the Thor 2s side-by-side -side with the Thor 1s So as I've said before Thor 1 Thor 2 they both look fantastic I've had friends of mine that have wore both both models They all say it hold these gloves hold up great in the event of a crash but for me personally I really like this, the new and improved design of the Thor 2. As you can see right here in the wrist, may not seem like a big change, but when you have the gloves on, you can definitely tell. You actually have just a little bit of extra mobility in the wrist, uh, freeze up a little bit, but you don't sacrifice any safety at all. You have actually this extra little bit of hard padding right here in the event of a crash would protect your wrist more, uh, but also not keep your, your, your wrist just like super rigid it's still it's still uh movable mobile but yeah i'm looking forward to running these gloves for the entirety of the 2022 moto america season i know there's already some designs cooking up in the works um i think i've gotten a few teasers so far and we might have the full designs being dropped in the next couple of days which is super exciting i'm looking forward to that yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a great year and uh be safe and last but certainly not least you may already be able to tell from the Brand new hat that I just got in the mail that I'm in love with. We have the Yoshimira Race R77 stainless full exhaust with the oh so beautiful carbon fiber muffler on it. R&D isn't just a title that Yoshimira slaps onto the end of the business name. 
They truly are the innovators when it comes to exhaust technology. It says it right there on their website. This exhaust was designed with nothing but power in mind. But aside from just making the most power possible, it's also really light. The entire system is about seven pounds lighter than your stock exhaust is gonna be. And I think as the saying goes, about seven pounds equals one horsepower. So just on the weight alone, you're gonna be picking up about a horsepower. All in all, I'm super excited to have Yoshimura back on board for the 2022 Moto America season. I will have no doubt in my mind at all that we'll be making the most performance and power possible this year. And you're gonna see it, especially when we get down to Daytona. I know this video was a little different than all of my other videos that I've ever put out have included some sort of riding rather than just a product review. But I can assure you, we got some riding videos coming up soon. You're not gonna wanna miss them. I'm gonna be making a fool of myself. They're gonna be great, we're all gonna have a laugh. I'm gonna look like an idiot, so there's no reason to miss out. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.